one of the most popular beaches in the world, Newport Beach in Southern California. The sun is just coming out, so it's a bit early to lie on the beach, but it's not too early for this. Surfing. Today is a great day to learn surfing. Here's one family teaching their younger members the ins and outs of riding the surfboards. Over here, an official surfing lesson is just beginning. Not all are here for the surf. Some are just here to play in the water. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm 16 years old, and I thought we could all hang around here at Lifeguard Stand 22. This is the first stand you see when you walk onto the Newport Beach Pier, so a lot of people hang out around here. And because Stand 22 is so close to everything, a lot of first-time surfers come here to learn about what surfing is and how to be a good surfer. We picked this learning location because today we also want to talk about another learning process. The process of learning about a way your body will change as you begin the process of transforming from a child or adolescent into an adult. When you're learning about surfing, you have to learn about the obvious things you see, like how to use a surfboard, even what a surfboard is and how it's made. But you also have to learn about things you can't necessarily see, like how to feel balance and how the ocean produces waves, waves that you'll eventually want to ride. When talking about how your body will transition from a child's body into an adult's body, we can talk about things you can see, simple things such as getting taller or even breast development. But we can also talk about things you can't see, such as the ways your internal organs are changing. And in the case of what we're talking about today, they're changing a lot. Specifically, we're going to talk about this word today, menstruation. Some of you may know this process of menstruation by a few different words. Words or phrases you may have heard used a lot, like the phrase, having your period. Having your period is the same thing as menstruation. Menstruation is the more medical way of referring to this process, while having your period is the more everyday way of saying the same thing. So back here at Lifeguard Stand 22, that's what we're going to talk about for the next few minutes. Looks like a lifeguard just got here to start his day at the beach, keeping everyone safe. While he does that, let's start our learning process, learning about menstruation and answering these three questions. Number one, what is it? Number two, why does it happen? And number three, what do I do about it? One of the few things new surfers have to learn about, and as you probably noticed, both guys and girls love to surf here, is all about waves. How the ocean makes waves, what to do when a wave comes in, even safety tips on how to keep yourself safe as a wave begins its approach. Today, we're going to learn the same types of things about menstruation, or having your period. So, let's answer question number one. What is a period? Or, what is happening inside your body while you're having a period? In order to do that, we're going to use graphics to make it easier to understand. In these graphics, we're going to learn about what are called your internal reproductive organs. I'll explain why they're called that in just a minute. But first, let's label the main parts of your internal reproductive organs. 